Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast laser project. So let's get cracking. Today, friends, we get to play with the longer X Ray 5. Now, this is a beast. It is a 20 watt laser cutter, and it's my first time playing with a 20 watt machine. The assembly process was super simple. There's a quick start guide, there's also a video on the SD card. I've got it plugged in. And there's what she sounds like once powered on. I have re-recorded the audio just because that was so loud, but let's take a look at what's available on the interface. First things first, let's try and home it. I like how clearly the buttons are labeled, and bingo, there's our first home. If you keep an eye on the X coordinates, you can see it actually reset into zero, and on the touch screen, we can simply hit yes. Let's click back and real quickly let's check out the tools. You can see our board is the DLC32 version 2.1 firmware 2.2. This is also where you could change the language or set up your Wi-Fi but I'm going to save that for a different video. Once again this audio is re-recorded because that was so loud but I have just plugged it into the PC and now we're going to bring up Lightburn. It is what I like to do all my cutting with. Let's start by adding the laser. I'm gonna go down here and click devices and let's use find my laser. I have already plugged it in so I can simply hit next and then we can just wait patiently. Now I sped that up quick using video editing skills. Because of all the silly things, I had two lasers plugged in. So I'm gonna quickly unplug my laser that I'm not trying to detect and let's do this one more time. All right, so let's try that again. Click in next. And after just a moment, I will actually let this one go at normal speed. Bingo, we can add the device. Now I'll check all those numbers later. Today, we are just going to roll with it. Let's click add device. I'm going to, of course, rename this longer Ray 5 and add 20 watt. Here we can click next. It does go to the front left because we did test that when we home it. One more, and finally, click Finish. Lastly, let's click OK. A quick double checks of the COM ports. This one is connected to COM port 3, and bingo, we're ready to play with the Ray 5. Before we go any further, let's quickly add the honeycomb bed, one of my favorite accessories you can get for your laser cutter. Of course, make sure you carefully remove the plastic film. These edges can be sharp. Note there is film on the bed as well. And you can quickly slide it in place under the laser. Do make sure you have the head up so that it doesn't run into the bed. Of course, make sure you add the end caps, which help with a little bit of airflow. Our first project is going to be cut on 5mm wood. This is from a pallet. I am not sure what sort of wood it is. I reclaim it and then I put it through my saw and make fun keychains with it. All right, everybody, laser powered on and let's let it home. I'm going to switch to move mode and let's get this nudged out to where we want to do our project. Notice if you hold shift and click nudge, it goes 10 times as far. This is that piece of wood that we're going to use and check it out, there is a sweet kickstand that we can lower down to get the right height. Absolutely love the kickstand. Now we can lock it in place and flip the kickstand back up. How slick is that? Before I make a real project, let's just cut something small to make sure everything's working. There is a tiny hexagon. Let's switch to cuts and layers, and I want to switch to my red layer. This is what I cut wood with. Notice right here it says 450 and 5 passes. Let's see what happens if we take this all the way down to 1 pass with 100% power. For this project, I'm going to go from the origin of the center. Of course, I want to be able to test fire it and frame it with it on, so let me show you how to set that up. First step is to click the Edit menu, and then we want to choose Device Setting. When this menu pops up, if you look over here on the right, you'll see Enable Laser Fire button, and I also want it on while it's framing. For now, I'm going to set this at 1%. I think that's a good number for our first test. Now with that all set, friends, I can hit Frame. Notice now we can see that it is on the wood, which is fantastic. 
Of course, the next step is to grab some safety glasses. Let's click start and make something magical. All right, now for the moment of truth. That was crazy fast. No speed adjustments there. And check it out, it cut all the way around. We just have to push it through. That is crazy awesome. As you can see, it did hang up on that one little corner. So it would have been smart if I would have done two passes. Still absolutely blows me away that I cut through five millimeter wood in one pass. Friends, let's try and make a whole keychain. Let's return to Lightburn quick. I am gonna click File and I'm gonna choose Open and I'm gonna find one of my keychain projects. Note this one has four keychains and it's for a different laser. I'm gonna simply open that. I am not gonna save the project we just made. I'm gonna click File and choose Save As so that way I can name this for the longer laser and I'm also gonna make it so it is only one keychain. Now let's quickly select the three keychains I don't want and let's hit delete on the keyboard. And let's take a look at the settings for cuts and layers. Notice this was 3360% for the fill. Because this laser is so powerful, I'm going to take that 60% all the way down to 30%. And then also don't forget we want to change the speed and power of the cuts. I'm going to take it down to 1%. And also, I'm going to change the speed to 400 to see if I can get it to cut all the way around in a single pass. If you've never made keychains like this before, I do have a tutorial. I'll make sure I add links to that in the properties of this video and also up in the cards. Alright friends, so with all the settings in place, I'm going to simply nudge this out. Once again, shift nudge goes 10 times as far. That makes it quicker. Once I have it in place... I'm going to quickly adjust it so the origin is in the left corner. I like to do that for my keychains and if we hit frame, ooh, you can see that I missed by a little bit. Let's just use that nudge to move it back a couple times. Once again, let's hit frame and make sure we like it. That is absolutely awesome. Friends, it is time to grab some safety glasses and let's make something magical. All right, so let's shut off the laser so I don't have to talk over it. Check this out. We have got a crisp keychain with Mount Pisca on the front. And I'll just use an Allen wrench to push out the hole. But we have got a pretty epic keychain in just a few minutes. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it. Project one with the longer x-ray 5 of course friends there will be a lot more videos on the way right now for the first looks i'm gonna say absolutely awesome of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech 
Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.